Hey guys, welcome to Optimum Greatness, and today we have the Batman Telltale series, and uh, yeah, so this will be Season 1, uh, Episode 3, uh, Part 4, and uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just get stuck into it, and uh, yeah, here we go. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh... We've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. Mm. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please, Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. All right, but if it doesn't, oh, I'm trusting you no more. We're going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you, and then you're on. Please, mm. stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny and we've how everything I said to you in the park has come true? Me taking everything that's yours, and that's not even a punchline. No, dear. <laughs> Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Uh, perhaps. But at least I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, It'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're going to have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. Story's too good for that. Buzz it yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> mm. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I'm ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate.
I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot. He's an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. <laughs> You're too kind. The company is in great hands. Oswald will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And so with that, Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Bruce. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. We can talk about it later. Later? No. This needs to happen right now. Mm. Dropped your pen. That's not... You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. What? I think it's time I knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you're a little penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a slug, insignificant bastard. Shit. Even so you can get away with it. Because none of them know who you really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. Someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? Damn. Oh, that's the end of the episode. Alright, um, I guess that's the uh, end of the episode. So I guess we'll go through these... Uh, Choices and what people decided. So obviously, forty percent uh, players chose to back up Harvey instead of Montoya. So move on to the next one. Sixty-eight percent uh, kept your composure when provoked by Oswald. You and sixty-five, so sixty-six percent players asked Lucius to remain at Wayne Enterprise as your inside man. You and nine point. You and nine point six of players chose to maintain a platonic relationship with Selena. Fucking you know, people. Um, did you beat up Harvey or take it easy on him? You and eighty four percent of the players refused to physically attack Harvey. And yeah, so I was only in the minor. On, I was only in the minority on two things. And, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll uh, get stuck into the next time on. All right, here we go. After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. Mm. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Shit, so we're going to Arkham Asylum. Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe. That they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. 
With the children of Arkham out in full Damn, force, Alfred versus uh, more than Dan. Ever. Where is Batman? Alright, so I guess that's uh, the uh, end of the third episode. Um, I mean, uh, that was a pretty good episode. Um, of uh, Yeah, I reckon that's probably one of the better episodes. Um, and... Yeah, I, I can't wait to I can't wait to play more of it, and uh, yeah. So I guess in the next video we'll, we'll see you guys in episode four, and uh, but yeah. So obviously we reached to the end of this video. Um, I do apologise that this video may be a, a bit short as well. So, um, but again, like the video before should be should probably make up for that. Um, and, but yeah, so, um, again, apologies for the short video, it wasn't my intention, I don't know how these, uh, these lots, well, I don't know how these games end, so sometimes again, uh, sometimes the video just has to cut short, but, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll finish off the video here, and, yeah, so I guess we'll reach to the end of this video, if you like this video, please like the video, and if you want more, more content, please subscribe, would like, thank you all for watching, hope to see you in another video, thanks.